Van Dyke Show. That's it. <laughs> That's enough now. Fight's over. You, you win. You win. I'll tickle you. <laughs> I don't know what it is about Buddy and children. It must be my head. They like to hit it. Oh, that's it. <laughs> Come on now, Rich. Lay off Uncle Buddy. He likes it. Yeah, I did for about 20 minutes. <laughs> Boy, a guy can get a cauliflower head here. <laughs> the minute they know it's bedtime, they start getting winsome. Okay, Rich. Say goodnight to everybody. Are they going? No, they are. You are. <laughs> Uh, give Aunt Sally a big hug. Come on now, no hitting in the clinches. Nice big hug. Uh-uh. Why not? I'm too old. <laughs> You're too old. It's the first time I've ever lost out on that count. <laughs> I'm six old are you. Uh, Richie, dear, we don't ask ladies how old they are. Why not? They won't tell you. <laughs> Can ladies tell their birthday? Well, that they tell. And mine's next Friday, and I need a new shawl for my piano. Which birthday will it be? Well, uh, Rich, <clears throat> come on, let's go now. You say goodnight to Aunt Pickles and Uncle Buddy. Are they married? Yeah, I certainly hope so. <laughs> Where's your husband? M uh, mine? I haven't got one. <laughs> Why don't you get one? Uh, say, say goodnight, goodnight Richie. Richie. <laughs> <laughs> What's so bad about being single? Richie's single and he's happy, isn't he? <laughs> well, I know, but that's different. He's just a little boy. Now, if he... Honey, eat something. Okay. <laughs> but what I meant was it's not like your case. Case? Look, Pickles, being single is not a disease. <laughs> Still, don't you hate being alone on your birthday? Oh, well, Sally doesn't have to be alone on her birthday. She can spend it with us. Oh, well, thanks, Laura, but I won't be alone. I'll probably have a date. But if I don't, there's always a lot of things I can do around the house on my birthday. Like what? Like washing, ironing, cleaning, crying. Crying? <laughs> my mother always calls me up on my birthday and she says, Hello, Miss Rogers, my single daughter with no prospects. <laughs> and we cry. Oh, boy, do we cry. <laughs> Laura, it was a wonderful evening. And let me tell you, the dinner was the ever-loving end. Oh, I'm glad you liked it. Why don't you show Pickles how to make some of those dishes? I'd love to. Oh, I would like to watch how you mash your potatoes. They're so smooth. No lumps, no skin. <laughs> really, very simple, Pickles. Just peel them and mash them. Oh, you peel them before you mash them. Of course. You're also supposed to cook them before you mash them. Oh, just because your mother made them that way, you think that's the only way. Good night, Laura. <laughs> Thanks again for the meal. It gives me courage to go home and face another week of my wife's cooking. <laughs> Good night, buddy. Good night, buddy. <laughs> oh, wonderful evening. Why, you two sure make a good case for marriage. Uh, well, with this one, it's easy. Come on, Sal, we're waiting. All right, all right. There's always a chance of getting one of those. <laughs> that kind of a husband is just a status symbol. <laughs> good night. Good night, good night so I'll see you in the morning. Oh, oh, it must be horrible having no one to go home to. Oh, it's not so bad if you prefer it. Nobody prefers it. Well, I don't know. I think Sal made living alone sound pretty good. Care to try it? Oh, I might. You're free. Goodbye, kid. I'll give you a ring sometime. <laughs> I'll wait for your call. And if the line's busy, you can... Rob? <laughs> Where you been? How did you do that so bad? I climbed in a bathroom window. <laughs> well, did you enjoy your trip alone? Oh, not really, but it was as horrible as you said it'd be. Well, all I know is I'd hate to have to go home alone like Sally to a big, empty apartment and spend my birthday washing, ironing, and crying. Oh, honey, Sally was just kidding. She's not a crier. Seem to realize that when a woman reaches a certain age and is unmarried, every birthday becomes a milestone, and every milestone is a millstone. So oh, I have a feeling Sally isn't going to wait till Friday to do her crying. I think she's going to do it tonight, and we're responsible. We are. What do we do? We went and had a baby that grew up to be a six-year-old big mouth. 
It was Richie who brought up her age and unmarital status, you know. Honey, what, what made you think she was so upset by it? Because I'm a woman. What? <laughs> you're a... You're a woman? <laughs> my God, my father married one of those. <laughs> you're a woman. Come here. <laughs> You mean there were real tears in her eyes? Sal? Yeah. Coughing and sniffling and blowing her nose all the way home. I'm telling you, Robert, it was like watching a man cry. <laughs> Buddy, did she know you knew she was crying? Eh, she said something about uh, catching a cold and having cigarette smoke getting in her eyes. So... Well, maybe that was it. Nobody was smoking. <laughs> you know something? Last night, Laura called it. She said she'd be upset with all that talk about her being single and all by herself on her birthday. Well, look, we can see to what she's not alone on her birthday. We can sit up with her and see it through. Sit up with her? You make it sound like she's got the flu. <laughs> well, how about a birthday party for Sally? You know, we'll yuck it up with a lot of phony presents and stuff like that, and she'll forget the whole thing. Well, that's a good idea. Only we don't mention the birthday angle. We just say it's a party. We're having a few friends in. Right, right. Yeah, I'll see you later, friends. Hey, better pretend we're working. Yeah. Hi, fella. Oops, sorry, didn't realize you were working. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Say, uh, by the way. By the way? What if I happen to hello? Oh, hello. Oh. oh, now what, by the way? <laughs> well, I just wondered if you were doing anything uh, Friday night. Friday night? Uh, I usually bathe my cat. Why? What's that? <laughs> well, we're going to have a few friends in for dinner. Yeah, why don't you let your cat go dirty this week? <laughs> just had dinner at your house. Well, I thought maybe if you're gonna be alone or something. So I'll be alone. Look, fella, stop worrying about me. I'm alone because I like it this way. I do, really I do. I've got all the advantages of marriage. Got a tea kettle that whistles, a parrot that talks too much, and a cat that stays out all night. <laughs> Who needs a husband? Come on, Sal. Don't you want to go out on your birthday? Look, Rob, if I want to go out, I've always got Mr. Diefenthaler, who takes me any place I want to go. Diefenthaler? Mm. What is that, an eye test? <laughs> no, that's my pet name for all my fellas. Oh, well, just in case one of your Diefenthalers doesn't call. Oh, one will call, Rob, and the first one that does gets a date. On the other 93 win. <laughs> Let's go to work. Yeah. All right, I figure right after the opening band number, this guy comes out and he says... Good morning. <laughs> it was till you got here. Rob, I don't like coming here and having insults thrown at me. Stay home, I'll phone them over to you. <laughs> Look, I'm getting fed up. Pretty obvious, I... fatso. <laughs> what time's the balloon go up? <laughs> Buddy, please. Rob... Alan would like the comedy bits demonstrated by you and your trained ape. <laughs> trained ape? Look, Curly, any time a trained ape says that he's got... Uh, uh, boy, do I owe you an insult. <laughs> we'll be right back, Sal. Yeah, well, don't worry. I'll make a couple of calls to bring happiness to a couple of bachelors. Oh, Sally, that reminds me. There was a fellow here earlier looking for you. Well, you didn't let him get away, did you? Well, you weren't here. Well, what's his name? Well, I didn't catch it. Well, did he leave a number? No. But he said you probably wouldn't know him. But did he leave a note? No. A, a fingerprint. <laughs> a laundry mark. A shaving lotion smell. Something. Nothing. I'm sorry, Sally. Well, oh, that's all right, Mel. I'm only kidding. I'm not that desperate yet. But listen, if he comes back, tie him to a chair. Sure. <laughs> I gotta get a date for Friday. Come on, Jeevan Thaler. Maybe you'll be back.
far as I can do without. <laughs> today? No? Well, must have been some other handsome fella. Uh, look, Fred, I've got a brand new recipe I'm dying to try out on some courageous friend. Uh, how about Friday? No, Saturday's too late. You sure you can't make it Friday? Well, if going bowling's more exciting than home-baked lasagna. <laughs> no, I understand. Yeah, maybe next week. Goodbye, Fred. I hope he bowls a 20. <laughs> oh, did you finish it all up? That's a good kid. <sighs> you too, huh? Yeah. He's coming, Penelope! <laughs> Come back for breakfast. I bought locks. <laughs> Dropped the bowling ball on his foot. <laughs> Hello? All right, buddy, what's the gag? Oh, I'm sorry. I, I thought it was somebody else. Who? Leo Fassbinder? <laughs> From Herbert Hoover High? Well, what do you know? <laughs> Say, how many years has it been? Oh, that many, huh? Couldn't <laughs> be. Well, well, I did graduate high school when I was nine, you know. <laughs> uh, say, Leo, uh, did you stop by my office today? Oh, it was you, then. Well, I, I, I am very busy, but uh, why don't you drop by Friday? Yeah, around 8.30. Oh, well, we can chat a while. Yeah, good. Uh, see you then. Bye. Well, I'll... Sally Fassbinder. <laughs> nah, I won't be that. Rob, are you sure Sally isn't going to just walk in here? Nah. I sent her home early, honey. She didn't suspect anything. We'll just give her a little while, then we'll go over to her place. Hey, Laura, see if you think Sally will like that. Oh, what is it, buddy? Go ahead, open it. <laughs> <laughs> well, she'll love it. Yeah. It's a perfect gift, buddy. You're all sentiment. Yeah, Sally, I got some more of these, boys. Sally will flip over them. She loves all these kind of gag breaths. I'll just file this away under fun. What if I put away an octopus? Bob, are you sure we're doing the right thing? After all, Sally said she might have a date this evening. Honey, I think the only reason she said that is so we wouldn't feel we had to make a fuss over her birthday. Well, we gotta go. Look, Pickles fixed the cake and everything. The second since I'm married. <laughs> oh, this one's a little slanty. <laughs> oh, I guess that's because our building's on a hill. Don't worry, darling. When we eat it, we'll all lean this way. What are you going to give her, Laura? Well, I got her some perfume. Perfume for Sally? Mm -hmm. What's the matter with that? Well, nothing except it'll make my snakes look cheap. <laughs> You know, I've been thinking Laura may be right. Is it a good idea to surprise somebody that just may not want to be surprised? Oh, Sal, I love it. Yes, but, buddy, if she has a guest... Well, we'll just drop the snakes and the cake and we'll go. <laughs> she may not even be there. Maybe she's already gone out. Well, why don't you give her a call? That's a good idea. Honey, will you do it? You, you've got more tact. All right. Yeah, hey, only don't give it away. You know, kind of just keep her nailed down till we get there. What am I going to say? Well, find out if she really got a date. Well, it's getting late. Mel said he'd meet us as soon as he got out of the barber shop. Baldy in a barber shop? What's he doing? Reminiscing? <laughs> Hello? Uh, Hello, Sally. This is Laura. Oh, hi, Laura. <laughs> Excuse me. I think she's crying. Oh? No? Sally, what's the matter? Oh, I just think I'm getting a cold. What's doing? Oh. Oh, well, I just called to find out how you are and uh, if you're doing anything this evening. Am I? Oh, you won't believe it. I'm as nervous as a girl. <laughs> I've entertained a man I haven't seen since high school, Leo Fassbinder. Excuse me, Laura. 
share the date with a Leo Fastbinder. Know him? Fastbinder? No. Now, it must be some guy she made up. She's lying. Uh, Leo Fastbinder. Well, he sounds wonderful. Oh, he's big and he's handsome. And he was all American three years in a row. Lies. I tell you, she's lying. He sounds great. I'm having one of those intimate little suppers. You know, the kind Cary Grant had in all his old pictures. <laughs> well, listen, Laura, thanks for thinking of me, but I, but I gotta hang up. I, I think a fast binder will be here soon. Bye. Fast binder. How do you like that, Sally? Can't even lie without making up a gag. Well, I don't know, Sally, as well as you two. Is she lying? Oh, I don't know, except fast binder is just exactly the kind of name that Sally'd invent. Yeah, like uh, Deep and Failer. Defenthaler? Who's he? Oh, Defenthaler, Fastbinder, McGinsentroid. She likes to make up dreams for all her make-believe boyfriends. Oh. Well, there's no Fastbinder, so come on, let's go. Be right there. You go get your own date. <laughs> Sally Rogers. Leo Fassbinder. <laughs> Come on in. Yeah, thank you. Well, it's been a long time. Leo Fassbinder. Yeah. Gee, it's good to see you again. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Sure. Uh, would you come in? Thanks. Sit down. All okay. right. Hello? Oh, hello, Freddie. Oh, you decided not to go bowling. Well, I'm very sorry. You're too late. Well, I'm having a very special tete tete dinner tonight. It's none of your business, but if you must know, it's with a Mr. Diefenthaler. Yeah, well, try me again, Fred. Maybe next week. Right, bye. Excuse me. Oh, Sally, I hope I'm not intruding. I see you're expecting to entertain. Oh, I certainly am. <laughs> Tell me, Leo, how did you happen to find me? Well, I was transferred to this area, uh, and I happened to find your name on my list. Now, it's a small world, isn't it? <laughs> yes, it is. List? Yeah. What list? Well, of course, I I'd seen your name on the television screen many times, and Sally, I've always admired your work as an author. But to get to the point, I, I was surprised to see your name on my company's list. Your company's list? Yeah. Is that what made you call me? Well, I had intended to... Sally, I see by our records that you only carry a floater policy with us. <laughs> now, uh, floater policy? Huh. Are you talking to me about insurance? Well, not insurance exactly. Then what exactly? Uh, an annuity for my old age, maybe? Well, well it's, it's not a bad idea. It's a terrible idea. Listen, tonight of all nights, the last thing I want to think about is my old age. Well, Good night, Mr. Fassbinder. I'm sorry, Sally. It uh, looks like I picked him the wrong night. Oh, boy, did he pick the wrong night. your fairy godfather come to grant your fondest wish. <laughs> oh, surprise! Happy birthday! 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 She is expecting someone. Yeah, or was. It's been stood up. How do you know that? Because Sally's not the type to cry when you give her a present. Well, she usually kids about it, ask how much you paid for it. Yeah, or why didn't you spend more? <laughs> she was crying before we got here. Her eyes were all red. Oh, poor kid. And it's a good thing we came. Now, look, when she comes out, let's all yuck it up, you know. <laughs> 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 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sorry. I always cry when I think I'm getting a cold. <laughs> well, listen, before you come down with pneumonia, here is the plan. Uh, first of all, the champagne and presents are for later. We've got dinner reservations, you get your mink coat, and away we go. Yeah. Eat, drink, and get your mink. Come on. Yeah. Eat, drink, and get your mink. Come on. Eat, drink, Thanks, and get your mink. But I, I can't leave. You see, I, I told Laura on the phone I, I was expecting someone uh, for supper. Uh, this old flame of mine from high school. <laughs> he should be here any minute. And uh, I, I'd like to be alone with him to reminisce. I mean, you guys understand, huh? Well, sure we do, Sal. We weren't planning to stay anyway, Sally. I knew about Mr. The Fastbinder. Yeah, he should be along any minute. <laughs> now we better go, gang. Well, have and get a yeah. Come on, yeah, let's go. Oh, happy hey, birthday, happy birthday, Sal. Happy birthday. Oh, all right. Have a ball, Sal. Hey, Sal, by the way, don't eat the birthday cake. It's just a candle holder. <laughs> <laughs> happy birthday, Sal. through this once. You, you poor cat, you have to go through it nine times. <laughs> Sally, can I speak to you a moment, please? Well, maybe I didn't make myself clear. Well, now, it's not about insurance. Well, about what, then? Herbert Hoover High? Rah, rah, rah. And Sally, I, I don't think either one of us made ourselves very clear before. Can I at least explain? Well, close the door. My neighbors get enough news. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Sally, I walked around the block before to think things over, and I ran into your friends. They asked if I was Mr. Fastbinder. I said yes, and they said you were expecting me for dinner. I told them no, that you were expecting a Mr. Diefenthaler. Oh, my, Diefenthaler. You heard me tell Freddie on the phone I was having Mr. That's right. Well, he's just a figment of my warped imagination. Well. Oh, I'm sorry, Leo. Come on in. <laughs> but wait a minute. What was all that talk about insurance? You always talk about insurance when you get invited to someone's house? Well, I, I do, and I'm embarrassed, and I don't know why I was invited. You didn't know why you were invited? No. Didn't I tell you to come for dinner? Didn't I didn't tell him to come for dinner? <laughs> See, Ma, that's one of the reasons. <laughs> I'm certainly glad we got that all straightened out. <laughs> so am I. <laughs> oh, little Sally Rogers. You know, in all these years, you haven't changed a bit. Well, neither of you. <laughs> well, what else should we lie about? <laughs> <laughs> you know, as a matter of fact, I almost didn't look you up at all. Well, for heaven's sake, why? I was on your company's list. Well, I thought naturally by this time you must be married or something. <laughs> no, I'm not married and nothing. <laughs> I, I hope you haven't had your dinner. Oh, I'm starving. Oh, great. Do you like boiled octopus? <laughs> no. Good, because we got baked lasagna. Uh, <laughs> but in the meantime, why don't you start on some of these peanuts? I'd love to. <laughs> Same old Sally. <laughs> Same old buddy. Honey, I'm going to see her in an hour. She'll tell me about her whole evening with Fastbinder. I have to know now. Hello, Sally? Laura. Well? Well, just let me tell you, it was one of the best birthdays I've had in years. Leo's a wonderful guy. It's the best birthday she's had in years? He's a wonderful guy. Lies, lies. When is he coming back? Well, I'm not sure, but I know he'll be back. He, she knows he'll be back. Lies, lies, How do you know lies. he'll be back? Well, I was terribly charming, and I told him I was interested in more insurance, and uh, I stole his watch. <laughs> 
The Dick Van Dyke Show has been brought to you by Cheer, the modern wash day product with the exclusive Blue Magic Whitener that washes so white you can see the difference.